Hello and welcome back to another episode of Workout with Raya in real time. This is my sports edit. If you do not know what I'm talking about, we've been doing it for a fair few days now. Today is day number five. So if you wanna go and do the other sessions, check out my sports edit playlist here on my YouTube channel where you'll be able to find all the workouts. We've still got a few more left to go after this as well. So this is gonna be a series that helps you to get ready for your 2024 season, whatever sport you're playing. Most sports require, you know, like agility, stability, balance, control with your muscles. So this program will really easily be able to supplement your current training schedule because it's just two workouts per week and they only go for five and they only go for 10 minutes. So they're over super fast. You can do it like before your normal gym session, after your normal gym session. You can do it at home. You can do it from anywhere. Just make sure that you're joining in and let all your teammates know as well so that they can gain strength, mobility, agility, balance, stability, all the things that are needed so that we can have an injury free season and perform to the best of our ability. So today is all about balance and stability. So we've got a lot of single leg type things. So we've got three exercises and we're going to be doing sets of them on each side. So it ends up being six parts all together. Once we've done them all, we'll have a quick rest. You're just gonna be doing them the same, along the same time as me. And once we're done, we're going to go through one more time or all of them and then we'll be finished. So let me show you what we're gonna be doing today. Make sure that you're using this time as I'm explaining the exercises to be warmed up because I want you to be warmed up before you start any of these movements. Even if it's literally just like marching on the spot, whatever it is, go for a bit of a jog, dance around, chuck some music on in the background and yeah, let's get it. All right, bear with me as I do some of these exercises that require being on my knees because I am totally scabbed up. I fall over all the time with soccer. That is why I need <laughs> this stability and balance session so much more than probably anyone else because I have the worst balance and I fall over so often and I scab up my knees. All right, so, <laughs> sorry. That was probably too much information. So what we're gonna be doing, our first exercise is the same side bird dog. So what that means is you're going to be on all fours. Your hands are directly set up directly under your shoulders. You're on your knees there and then the same side. So you're gonna really try and, this is all about like balance and stability. So stability through the hips and through the core mostly. You're going to put your same arm out and your same leg out on the one side of your body. Hold it for three seconds and then we're gonna go back in and we're going to do this five times on one side and then five times on the other side. Our second exercise is our single leg glute bridge. So with this, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be squeezing our hips up and from here, you're going to put your foot out. You're gonna hold it for three seconds and then back in and then again for three seconds. And you're going to do that five times and then five times on the other side. So with this one, so with this one, it mostly targets your glutes and your hammies. It also really helps with your hip stability and your core strength as well. All right, so our last exercise is going to be just a balancing on one foot. So what you're gonna do for me is you're going to jump up on one foot, don't need a jump, just go on one foot, concentrate on the spot, find your balance. Once you've found your balance, close your eyes and hold that balance one foot position for 15 seconds. Once we've done 15 seconds on one side, I'll get you to open your eyes, we've got to plant the other side and then do the exact same thing again. All right, are you guys ready for this? So we're gonna be doing all the exercises at the same time as me, having a quick rest, and then do it all again one more time through. Let's get it. All righty, so we're gonna be starting off with our single leg bird dog. So just so you know, there's gonna be probably one side of your body that's a lot more balanced and stable than the other. So I'm gonna start off with my good leg and then I'll show you how bad my bad leg is so you do not need to be embarrassed with how bad your balance is because mine's probably worse. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do five reps. We're holding it for three seconds at the top of each one. All right, ready, set. So choose what side you're gonna start off as. Nice and stable through the midsection and then back down. This is so much harder than it looks. <laughs> Perfect, and then the other side. All right, let me show you how bad. Ooh, oh, it's not actually as bad as I thought. <laughs> Ooh. 
All right, now we've got our single leg glute bridge. So rolling over, single leg glute bridge. All right, again, three seconds. So decide on what leg you want to start off with first, but we're going to raise up our hips, really squeeze your glutes, engage your hammies. And from here, we're just going to go onto one leg for three seconds and then back down. We're going to do this five times on this one leg. So good, try and keep your hips nice and square to the floor, guys. Breathing through each rep. Perfect, staying up. And then we're gonna to go to the other side. Good, try and keep yourself nice and stable, even though you'll feel not so balanced. Don't try and overcompensate. Really keep everything square to the floor. Amazing. Oh yeah, lower yourself down. Woo, that's a good one. All right, now we've got our balance. Whew, this is the hard part. All right, so concentrate on a spot, go up on one foot, whatever foot you want to start off with, and then when you're ready, when you're stable, close your eyes. Really try and hold it there for the 15 seconds. This is so good for you guys, especially if you're playing like a tackling kind of sport where you're knocked off your position. Because someone whams into you, you know what I mean? And it really decreases our risk of injury as well. So four, three, two, one. Open your eyes, perfect. All right, to the other side. To the other side. And when you're ready, close your eyes for 15 seconds. Oh man. Again, one side is probably gonna feel a little bit easier than the other side. That is completely normal. Woo. Nice guys, almost there. Keep holding it for five, four, three, two, one. Open your eyes. Whoa, whoa, okay, that was really hard. That was awesome. So good, well done guys. Have a bit of a breather. And we're gonna go through the exact same exercises. One more time through. You can even do this a few more times if you have a bit more extra time, guys. But yeah, these kind of things are really important to try and implement into your pre-season training and even during the season too. So you can continue doing these kind of exercises. Come back for more, keep coming back for more. <laughs> All right, so choose what side you're gonna start off with with our same side, bird dog. Ugh, I do not know why it's called that. If any Pilates kind of people, uh, doing this, please comment the comment section why this is called a bird dog. Like, I can kind of see the dog like woof woof, but like a bird? Is it because you're like kind of flying? Maybe these are like your wings? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. Or someone just tell me. <laughs> All right, because I'll probably forget to Google it. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Set, let's go. So we've got three seconds. So good, I kind of overcompensate a little bit by balancing off to the side, which is really bad. I'm trying not to. This is a way harder movement than I ever thought. I'm gonna practice this one a lot. When I first did my PT course, like, man, how many years ago was that? 12, 13 years ago? I remember learning these and I was like, so bad at them. I mean, I'm still bad, but I got them. Like, if you practice things like this often, all right, one more. If you practice things like this often, like you actually get so much better at it. So I did get a lot better at it, but now I just haven't been doing them enough. Other side, let's go. That's perfect, I reckon that's all my knee could take. They're not the greatest. <laughs> all right, a single leg glute bridge. So, when you're in position, in, up. <laughs> so when you're in your position, we're gonna lift up our hips, squeeze your glutes, engage your hammies, and from here, choose what side you're gonna start off with, making a nice straight line with your leg. And then back in, and then out. We're just holding it for three seconds for each rep. Back in, and out again. That's three, we've got a couple more on this side. 
Oh, this one's good. It really does burn the hammies. Remember, trying to keep your hips nice and square to the floor. So it means they're like kind of parallel. So they're not like twisting to the side. And then back in, other side. Let's do it. Nice, guys. Amazing. Last one. And then lower your hips back down. Whew. Man, you wouldn't think that this would give you a full on workout, but I'm a bit puffed. All right, our balancing, the hardest part. Let's do it. One side, so 15 seconds on each side. Let's do it. So jump up on one foot, look at the one spot, find your balance, and then close your eyes. 15 seconds. Even just this, I've started doing this since we started our preseason soccer, and I absolutely it was shocking on the first time I did it. And even with this, I've gotten better after just like a month of doing it, a couple of times a week, you know? Keep it going for three, two, one. Open your eyes, put both feet on the floor. <laughs> Get off on your other foot. Remember, looking at the one spot just to keep yourself nice and stable, 15 seconds. Oh, this foot's definitely harder. Ah! Five seconds. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. <laughs> well done, guys. That was amazing. Great job on our balance and stability session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one, which will be released in a few days. And remember, share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the updates. And I shall see you soon.